Hey guys, Sko here, and I'm here to show you some of my uh, rocket gear that I'm going to be using from now on. So we start off with the keyboard, I'm going to be using the uh, Rocket BIOS MK Pro. So I open this up, this is the uh, British keyboard layout obviously since I'm in Scotland. Just slide this box open. We also have a nice little rocket box there. Let's see. The unboxing. So I lift this out. I guess the important thing to tell you about this keyboard size is that it is a mechanical keyboard. It has uh, brown switches. I don't claim to know a lot about switches, but uh, I know that the brown switches are quite quiet. So when it comes to streaming and using, like for example, a desktop microphone or just a microphone in general when you talk to your viewers, I know that the, uh, the brown switches are going to be good for that because they're not as loud as some of the other mechanical keyboards out there. So let's see what we got here. Ah, you want to come see the keyboard? Yeah, very nice. We've got a couple of USB sockets here. We have some uh, some jacks on this side. Also seems to be quite... Uh, it's also got this, uh, this wrist thing here, which keeps your wrist comfortable, I guess, while playing. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to try this guy. This, this, this out, guys. Um, yep, so we've got the keyboard. We've got a quick installation guide in here. They've probably got some drivers and stuff that I can use. Customize the keyboard any way I want because I noticed there's also some uh, macro keys on the front. But yeah, that's the Rocket BIOS, so I'll be using that keyboard from now on. What else do we have? Secondly, we have the uh, Rocket Tato. This is a control uh, mouse pad. Complete command, total control. Let's open this up, boys. Without breaking it. Uh, boxes on the floor. Ah, right, okay. You can actually feel the uh, different sides just by, just here, I guess, without even opening it. But uh, as I have it, I might as well see what I'm going to be playing with. Let's see. This is actually one of this, this mouse mat, the Tato. This is actually the mouse mat that I requested to use because I visited the rocket offices a few weeks ago before going out to the US. And these are the kind of mouse mats I like. They're quite firm. <coughs> so, yeah. We have control mid size mouse pad. We've got some uh, the surface here, obviously, so it sticks to your desk. So you just need to flatten that out. And finally, let's move on to the important thing here the Rocket Nest. Brand new mouse from Rocket. So we open up like that. Now I need to get out of this box without tearing everything. Let's see. Hmm. This could be a struggle. Definitely didn't just tear the box, boys. <laughs> awkward. The awkward moment when you can't open the mouse. Do you need a hand? <laughs> on, Come. Okay, and now my beautiful assistant is now going to open the, open the rocket now. We have a green screen over there. Yeah. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, boys. <laughs> okay, so we have more track, more boxing down here. The beautiful rocket in this box. You know, it actually comes with its own. 12,000 DPI, module design, two hot swappable side grips. That was actually awesome. Again, when I used this mouse before, guys, there's two side grips, so you can make the mouse either small or big, depending on your hand size. And then, of course, it's got the 33 button side grip carry case and the uh, rocket driver system, which I guess, as I've shown you guys with the keyboard, there's also the CD here. So the keyboard will also be using some similar kind of drives. So we have the rocket nest right here. And here is the... Uh, the side, uh, the side grip that you can put on if you want to make the mouse bigger. So if I just give the if I just give the camera back to you for a second, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So this side button, it should just this side button just slips off. Did you see that? Yeah. Huh? Just slips off, and then uh, you can slip it back on. So if I slip this one off, this is obviously the small one. And if you have bigger hands like me, for example, I'm going to want to use the bigger one, more of a grip, and it just slides in straight away like that. Yeah. So now I've got a bigger mouse, much more comfortable in the hands. So. 
as you can see, it comes by default with the, uh, the 12 buttons. Similar to some other mouse designs you've seen out there, guys. But what's what's amazing about the uh, the Rocket Nith is that you have this case here. So this case here basically lets you fully customize the uh, the mouse however you want. So we have another 12 buttons here. We have six big buttons and we have these. So you can customize this whatever way you want. So if I show you guys this, if I pull this, if I pull this switch out here with any lock, this should make all the buttons fall out. Let's see. Okay, yeah. All the buttons are falling out, guys. So you now see you have like a bare frame, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they ideally go in the case here, but I mean, I ain't got time for that right now. <laughs> so guys, what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna use the mouse is because I have quite big fingers, those 12 small buttons, those 12 small buttons are gonna be too small for me. I'm gonna be at probably accidentally misclicking, you know, one or two at the same time. And I'm always just using a mouse right now that's actually only got two thumb buttons. Like I'm, you know, like for example, my shield slam, shield block when playing warrior, just those two mouse buttons. So it's going to take, take me a while to get used to using more mouse buttons in general. But I can definitely see myself using these six. So all I'm doing is I'm just sliding these in like this. Pull it out of the case. The case is uh, holding these buttons well. Just putting these buttons in like this. So I'm, I'm basically just customizing the mouse to how I want to use it. So this is ideal for people with bigger hands, obviously, because you can use the bigger buttons instead of the smaller ones. Also, for example, if I if I wanted to only use like the four big buttons there on the top, guys, you know, like these four buttons here with my thumb, I could still assign I could still assign four smaller buttons at, at the bottom. So if I really wanted to, you know, put in some of these uh, these smaller buttons back at the bottom and have like four key bindings down here, I could do that. So I could just have these four and then four at the bottom. But, that, but I mean, I'm just going to stick with the uh, easy design and go with the uh, the six big buttons. Where's it gone? There it is. It's a nice little case that you get to carry all these buttons around though, that's for sure. Better make sure I'm putting this the right way. Yeah. Excellent. They're all angled as well for optimum uh, pressing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> I'm being serious, like, you know it's how they're angled, yeah? They are angled slightly, I'm not kidding, I'm being serious. No, I and you might laugh at that, but honestly when you're using it, it feels good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, being just, I'm being serious. I'm like having used this mouse before. The way that you say it. So yeah, you've got this little like uh, I could close it, but right now all these things are gonna fall out. Let's kind of try and close it. So yeah, ideally, you know, you'll be able to carry this around if you wanted to recustomize your mouse at any point. So that's obviously quite cool. So here we have the Nith guys. So I've got these six side buttons, which should be easy for me to use with my thumb. As you can see, my thumb's quite big, yeah. Which is why I would never get away with using like the 12 small buttons. So yeah. There we go, guys. We've got the uh the rocket nith with the uh wide side grip on it for people with bigger hands and again because i have bigger hands i've chosen to use the six side buttons so i've got my mouse pad my rocket nith my rocket vios mk pro and one last item that rocket sent me just because it's winter right now and it's cold as anything in scotland they have sent me a scarf <laughs> so <laughs> i'm sure i'm going to get some good use out of this scarf boys I'm not even kidding, being serious, it's actually freezing in Aberdeen right now. Guess I can try and put the scarf on and embarrass myself on the uh, on the video. Let's see. There we go, keeping warm in the winter.